starts now. Welcome to the broadcast. Game three of the NBA playoffs is tonight for the Indiana Pacers, of course, as the series shifts back home to Gamebridge Fieldhouse. They face an 0-2 hole in the best of seven series against the New York Knicks. Our Angela Moran joining us live from the Fieldhouse with the very latest on the team and the drama surrounding them, Angela. Oh, drama indeed, Phil. Today, the breaking news for the Indiana Pacers was head coach Rick Carlisle fined $35,000 because of his criticisms that were openly against the refs after game two in Madison Square Garden against the New York Knicks. Carlisle said he was submitting 78 different clips that the refs got wrong, in his opinion, from games one and two. For that, he's paying up to the NBA. He's not the only one that has been receiving criticism. Josh Hart also said that Carlisle Carlisle's comments on saying small market teams deserve a fair shot was idiotic and that it was disrespectful to the Knicks. Carlisle facing criticisms from Pacers fans as well, leaving TJ McConnell, the star backup point guard, on the bench for the final seven minutes of game two, which would led to the ultimate demise of the Pacers in that game. McConnell had a double-double, 10 points, 12 assists, was the only reason that Jalen Brunson was even slowed down just a little bit against the Pacers. But instead, McConnell was on the bench Brunson scored 11 of his 29 points in those final seven minutes, and the Knicks took a 2-0 series lead. Carlisle said he considered putting McConnell back in, but his starters deserved a chance to finish that game. Our starters have earned the trust to finish games, and you know Nemhard's probably our best on-ball defender, and we were. We were flying around trapping too. But look, everything's on the table going forward. It has to be at this point. You know? um, and we'll look closely at everything. Whenever my number is called, I, um, I'll be ready. And if that means I have to be over on the bench um, supporting my teammates, I'll do that at the highest level. Um, Rick's a Hall of Fame coach and has been doing this for a long time. Um, so the rotations that he plays are you know, we trust that they're the right ones. And I fully support him and everyone fully supports him with the rotations. Those rotations might be tweaked just a little bit tonight because Nick starter OG Ananobi, the former Indiana Hoosier, will not play in Game 3. He's out with a left hamstring strain. That's a big gift for the Pacers, who now face a Knicks injury-depleted squad that will have only about six or seven bodies to run through the rotation. The Pacers love to push the pace. That's an enemy for an injury-depleted Knicks team. We'll have more coming up at 545. We're talking the buzz, like, what is it going to be like in Game Bridge Fieldhouse for the first home game of the Eastern Conference semifinals. We'll talk about it coming up. Guys. All right, looking forward to it, Angela. Thank you very much. Inside Gamebridge Fieldhouse, to outside where we find News 8's Adam Pinsker now. Adam fans getting ready as a party is underway at the Bicentennial Plaza before tip off. Oh, yeah, Phil, that party is getting underway indeed at Bicentennial Plaza. It should open here in just a few minutes for fans to get inside to enjoy a little pregame action there. Doors to Gamebridge Fieldhouse will open at 530. And the feeling out here that it is a must win as we are back in Indiana. This sh series shifts to Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Several fans, as Angela mentioned, were not too pleased with the calls in the latter half of games one and two that led to, uh, at least contributed to, the Pacers falling into an 0-2 hole. One fan I ran into this afternoon was very concerned about those calls. We were absolutely screwed out of games one, for sure. Game two a little bit closer, but by my God, the refereeing, and I call it the NBA as a whole, is out to get our small market Pacers. But we love them. We're going to bring home the win tonight. Absolutely. I think we've gotten off to great starts in both game one and game two. We really have fizzled down the stretch. A lot of it, I think, has to do with being an MSG and the craziness that's happened uh, there in New York. But I think the crowd's going to be lively tonight. We're going to bring them home tonight. Yeah, that fan adds that he expects the crowd to be louder than it was during the Milwaukee series, the first round playoff series, which he attended in person as well. Tip off is at 7 o'clock tonight. A reminder if you come here, you cannot have a bag larger than six by nine inches. They will turn you away. There is a bag policy here at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. I'm live at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, WishTV.com. And follow us on Facebook for updates.